Where am I? Where am I? She's big. Oh, the babies with that. That thing's heavy. Oh, well, she'll take and put them under a. She'll go under the house. house. Under the house? Yeah. she goes go somewhere warm. That thing don't let her kittens free, so I'll tell you. Oh. Well, if it's her first litter, she will. She's big. I believe as big as she is. She's had a just old. sitting here spinning. Well, we went back out. I do too. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's in my shoulder blade. Welcome to part two. Welcome back. Welcome back. For some reason I'm still showing the other one live. Oh, yeah, I'll cut out of here. Wherever you need to cut on out of here, buddy. 200 mile an hour. I had a break somewhere. What? I feel myself. It says 200 better. miles per hour. What is? is that right there? Yeah, those things are. That's a craftsman. I don't know what. Wow, it went from 100 and back to. I not, started part two, Charles. Yeah, not everybody's coming back in yet. No, I had a mellow yellow sitting somewhere. There's a full mellow yellow over There's here. one over somewhere. That's Ricky, right? No, I got mine here. Oh, that's when I went over this way. Yeah. And the kids. Yeah, I went over there. Man, I'm going over there. No, I just brought it in. Guys, we're going to let everybody get a chance to find this one. This is mine, Jerry. I just feel like you told me to do what? You told me to fix this, and I went over and fixed it. No, I'm talking about a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I'm at 25 with waiting for uh, everybody to come back on a $110 value. They doing that in the morning? Yeah, they're going to drill him out tomorrow. How long will you be in there? He's coming on tomorrow if they know something. You gonna be on a walker for three weeks. On a walker. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get me some grudges somehow. I ain't some crazy reader like that. Get you one of the little gold rail things. I'd buy me probably. Here we got we got ten sets of crutches right there at the door. Yeah, Rick. Don't buy none. I'll probably be over here and get me a set of them and just that whack it come over. We loaded a walker. I got a oh, brand new one in the truck. Oh, okay. In the truck of my car. As long as I can get in the house with it, I'll ditch them things. I'm going to make some crutches, Charles. I'll be up. <laughs> yeah, he will that first day. As long as I don't walk on it. Yeah, you'll be like Michael. We'll get you a chair. We sure brought that chair. Yeah. <laughs> Call, uh, <laughs> Call Blankenship. Yeah. He's got an extra chair. Oh, <laughs> man. Okay, I'm back. We're back. We're back up to 61 people. I had a $25 bid on this with Donna. And let's get back to. So I'm looking for 27 and a half right now on this. I had Donna in at 25. Donna, are you back? Donna, I got you at 25 on this. Looking for 27 and a half. 25, looking for 27 and a half. I got 25, looking for 27 and a half. It has been opened, but everything is in there. It's in great shape. And I'm at twenty five dollars. I'm at twenty five looking for twenty seven and a half. Twenty five looking for twenty seven and a half. Twenty five looking for twenty seven and a half. Y'all sold the fridge yet? Yeah, we yeah. sold it. Uh what forty five? Forty seven fifty. Forty seven fifty. And I'm gonna sell this to Donna Dimwitty. Forty seven fifty. And I'm gonna sell this to Donna Dimwitty for twenty five dollars. Your turn, Ricky. What can I sell her? This is your last item. So it right there. Oh, this right here. Some Kodak paper. Film paper. 
Let's see it. It's film paper, y'all. It ain't got the printer with it. It's just the the paper, and it's a lot in there. It's an for an HP Kodak color cartridge and photo paper kit, but it don't have the printer. It don't have the printer. But it is the paper and it's a lot in there. That's what it is. It's 20 sheets just in this package and there's all kinds of them. It's a stack. You're fine. That's a stack of them. They would only take inside. I don't know. It's foreign language. I don't know. I can't I can't read that stuff. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> Let's try to read the Chinese part. <laughs> Okay, Kodak Easy Share Photo Printer 300, 399. Photo Printer 500. Olympus ILP 100. That's what it says. What do I got? $6 bid from Angela? Yeah, they're five by seven, Mark. Got Angela in at six. And it's got something in here. It's got paper in it, too. Love I guess that. you load that in a printer. Yeah, you load that. But we don't have it, or we hadn't found it. Okay. It's got to be a dollar increments till we get to 10. Yeah, Martha. Martha, you'll have to go $7. But it is for color. Six dollar bid asking seven. Eight. We got eight asking nine. Yeah. Laser printer too. Yeah. Yeah, you using a laser printer, Mark. Asking nine dollars. I don't know how much the stuff's worth. I just know it's a lot of it. There's over a hundred here, I know. We barely do them globe shots. I went that way with them. Yeah. Sell it, Wanda. Wanda, you bought it. Eight dollars. Wanda taking them. Guys, before you know it, the weather's going to get right with yeah. us, and you're going to need this. It's a dome tent will sleep two to three people. Dome uh, tent will sleep two to three people. Nice. No, I just put it up there. I wanted you to do that one. It is seven foot, ten inches. By six foot ten inches. Seven foot ten inches, six foot ten inches. Brand new in the package dome tent. And I'm at ten dollars with Jeff Reynolds. I'm at ten. I'm at 10, looking for 12 and a half. I'm at 10, looking for 12 and a half. I got Jeff Reynolds in it. I'll be over to see you. I might be on crutches okay. or something, but I'll be to see y'all. Y'all need anything hard. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Y'all remember Ricky and Prayer tomorrow? He's going down for surgery in the morning. Yeah. Well, we got a 10 here. Yep, and I'm at $10 with Jeff Reynolds. That's a good be a good deal. Y'all be careful. Y'all just remember Ricky and Christian and Prayer. They're going down for surgery tomorrow. 10, looking 12 and a half. 10, looking 12. Got 12 and a half, looking 15. 
I got 12 and a half looking for 15. Got 12 and a half looking for 15. John Morrell's in at 12 and a half. 12 and a half to go 15. 12 and a half to go 15. I got 15, 17 and a half. $15 bill to go 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. 15, Ricky done a good job tonight. Him and Charles, uh, I've been a little bit under the weather. Took some medicine and that made me sick at my stomach. <laughs> well, that's a tough one, Charles. Yeah, 17 and a half. Got 17 and a half from John Morrell coming in there, John. 17 and a half would he go 20. 17 and a half would he go 20. 20, 22 and a half. $20 bill would he go 22 and a half. $20 bill would he go 22 and a half. John, I'm fixing to sell it. If you don't get in there and bid, you're being slow. You're being slow. I sold it, John. Just because I said I saw you where you said that you're out. <laughs> All right, guys, raise your sights. We got some great items coming up here in the last little bit of the auction. This is a Craftsman 200 mile per hour special edition leaf blower, trash blower. Guys, this don't look like it's been used much at all. Look at there. 200 miles an hour. That's a snow blower. That's Please. a nice one. Crank it in here. No, it's not got gas in it. They have to store these without gas. Yeah. And this is a Craftsman, guys. I got a $25 bid right there. $25.30. $25 bid. You go 30 $25.30. $25.30. Charles ain't no telling what one of these will cost. I got $25.30. dollars dollars would you go $30? $25.30. $25.30. They done gone, Barbara, but I'm sure she'll see that. I got $27.5. Mm -hmm. I got $30. $30 would you go $35? I got a $30 bill. Would you go $35? $30 bill. Would you go $35? I apologize for the technical difficulties tonight. We had to start part two, and I'm in at $32 and a half with Angela Wolf. 37 and a half. Yeah, it does, Debbie. I got 37 and a half from BJ. BJ, the DJ. <laughs> Only when it rains. A wreck at 90 miles an hour. Remember that song? <laughs> no, 40. I got 40, 42 and a half. 40 dollar video, 42 and a half. I got $40 video, 42 and a half. $40 video, 42 and a half. I got 40 from Ricky Long, and I'm fixing to drop the hammer. I got 45 from DJ. $45 bid. Will you go 47 and a half? $45 bid. Will you go 47 and a half? Boy, this looks good. Special edition, Charles. And Ricky, thanks for bidding. I got 45 from BJ. Waiting on Mike Collado. 45. We know I already had BJ at 45. Mm, Mike, got a lot He'll of spend the hits no more. <laughs> I got 45. I got 50 from Michael Lotto. Elaine Mater came in there. Michael Lotto beat you by a millimeter of a second. If that's such a thing. Thanks for bidding, Anthony. I got 50. BJ said she was out. I got 50 from Michael Lotto. 50. Elaine Mater, you want to go 52 and a half, or I'm going to drop it. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to let it roll. I got a $50 bill. You go 52 and a half. $50 bill. You go 52 and a half. That cures light sign went cheap, Chip, and I've sold that to Mike Lotto. Mm -hmm. uh, Chip, that went for, what'd that go for, $45, $50? Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly, but it was a nice one. It was in mint in the box. Now James bid 65 Linda King bid 60 Guys, y'all must be way behind. We just sold it. I sold it. I let it go at $50. It's a nice blower. Yes, it was. And I fixed all you guys while I went in. I went in a while ago, and I fixed you guys some breakfast. <laughs> I wanted y'all to have a good breakfast here. This is a hanging. You hang this in your kitchen. You hang this in your kitchen right there like that. It's got your toast and your eggs and your waffles and your strawberries. That looked nice hanging in the kitchen. It's got a bright yellow color. Somebody give me about ten dollar bill on it. Let's go. Ten dollar bill where you go ten. Ten dollar bill where you go ten. Ten dollar bill where you go ten. Ten 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 dollar bill where you go ten. Nice big decorative plate there. We look really good in your kitchen. I got a five dollar bid from Wanda Sexton. Five seven and a half. Five dollar bill where you go seven and a half. Five seven and a half. I got five dollar bill where you go seven and a half. We lost about fifty people, Charles, when we had to do that part two. I got five, seven and a half. Five dollar bill, you go seven and a half. I got five, seven and a half. 
Uh, I don't know yet. Depends on how I feel, Gail. I'm feeling a little better right now, but Charles is fixing up to go. Okay. Yeah, you can put a clock in it. <laughs> and we just sold that to Wanda Sexton. Five dollars. Cheap all day long and three times on Sunday. All right, raise your sights, guys. This ain't no little play gumball machine here. No, sir. <laughs> Charles has it even opened up. Oh, it takes, I've not got to, wait a minute, is one of them keys it? Where'd Joseph do with them keys? Dang, I couldn't do it. No. We're going to sell it like it is, guys. I haven't got a key for it. Where'd it go? It's <laughs> right <laughs> It's oh, hard. there it is. Yeah, it's hard to say. This is the original. This is a. Yes, uh, Kevin, we ship. They'll put all the information in there. And Stefan and Ruth, I made you guys moderators, moderators when I was in the house a while ago. But this is a nice. Uh, got a cast iron bottom to it. Nice pedestal right here. Bubble gum machine, whatever you want to call it. So it's got the cast iron bottom. I don't have the key for it, though. I don't have the key. Toys and joys. It they actually does the toy ones. Be a nice thing to set up, wouldn't it, guys? You know, this right here, I got TM20. $10 baby go 20 These are worth probably around 100 or some dollars. Easy, Charles, all day long. Oh, yeah. And all I've got is a $10 bid on it right there. On that nice machine right there. And I got 12 and a half. They're money makers. You just get a get a key that will fit it there. Change that key out. And I'm at 12 and a half with Berlin Taylor. A lot of people get them. You can redo this any color you want to. Uh, put it in your man cave or put it in your little store, your flea market or something like that. You're put you 20, some different things in there. And and I'm only at 22 and a half on it. And this is the real deal. This is the commercial model right here. I'm at 25. $25 would you go 30? I got 25, 30. $25 would you go 30? 25 would you go 30? Where'd I set my drink at? Not there. <laughs> I got 25, 30. I got 25, 30. I think that little bitty and well ago brought more than that, didn't Charles? There it is. That little bitty and well ago brought more than that. You're 30. That's a heavy duty stand, guys. He said duty. <laughs> Charles said duty. <laughs> it's, it's got the I cast iron stand. I'm at 35. Why'd they come in that way? $35 BBD go 40. $35 BBD go 40. $35. $35.40. $35 $35.40. $35. $35. dollars go 40. $35.40. $35.37 and a half. $35 BBD go 37 and a half. $35 BBD go 37 and a half. Berlin said he was out. Rebecca, you have won that at $35. Goodbye right there. Really good bite. Now changing the subject here. Back to a food item. Who got it for thirty five dollars? Uh, Rebecca Swagger. No kind of Jimmy Swagger. <laughs> Guys, this is a big indoor. Is that a George Foreman? George Foreman indoor grill. I want you to look at this big baby here, guys. There's the top of it. It's got the little vent thing right there where you can vent it or not. And I'll set that down for right now and show y'all the grill part of it. That's heavy. This is a nice outfit here. If I can pull it out here. Oh, I've got the plug in. Yeah, it's a George form. Let me unplug it here where I can 
pull this out and show y'all the the surface of it. Look how good a shape that's in. And then it just pops right back down in there. It's easy cleaning. You just pop it right back down in there. <coughs> Put your big heavy du duty cord back in there. He said duty. <laughs> it's an indoor grill. Or you can do it outside either one. But it's in good shape. It don't look like it's been used hardly at all. You can do your steaks on there. And I'm just at 1250. Oh, y'all like my moonwalking skills? Hey, buddy. Yeah, let me finish this, Jerry. What are you talking about? What is it? I got 15 looking for 17.5. 15 looking for 17 and a half. 15 looking for 17 and a half. Got 15. Good Lord. It's huge. I got 20. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. I got $20 looking for 22 and a half. Uh, give me a minute. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. I got $20 looking for 22 and a half. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. $20 looking for 22 and a half. Got 20 looking for 22 and a half. 20 looking for 22 and a half. Excuse me. 20 looking for 22 and a half. 20 looking for 22 and a half. And we're going to sell that to Ronald Dixon for $20. Thank you, Andrew. What did it bring? $20. $20, man. Somebody got, who got that deal on that? <laughs> Ronald Dixon. Ronald Dixon coming in with all the bargains tonight. Are you going to sell that, Charles? Another one that bring a lot. Well, we got a different, we got a lighter crowd on now. Look at here, guys. Another grass sack. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This one. What was in this one? Let me see what was in this one. Quality coffee, decaf. This had decaf in it. Grass sack. This one's for decaf. For all you guys that like unleaded. It's in great shape. Natural. Where's my phone at? Ninety nine. Point nine percent caffeine free. I haven't seen it since Jeff Sinners, are you still on? Hey Jeff, you still out there? Or no, he came by and got his thing, didn't he? Yeah, Jeff or Joni, y'all still on? That's a nice piece right there. What, what There's Joni. Joni, give me a call if you don't care. If you need my number, well, there's my number up there. <laughs> Um, does he know your number? Yeah. My family. And I'm only at $3. That's all right. Sell it to Chip. Let Chip so, get the good deal. There you go, Chip. Hey, Charles, this, this is more your size here. Tell them about this. You you better sell this kind of stuff than me. We got an extra large apparel extra large collection. Two. No, it's a 3X. Oh, large. it's a 3X That's leather jacket. Leather jacket. What, who is this? There it is. It's a 3X leather jacket. Let y'all see it right there. Look at the back of it. Honey, I'm sure I can't hear you. 
Well, make sure I can't hear you if you're yeah. talking about anything. Yeah. All right, let me start. right there, guys. 3X heavy leather jacket. Let me get this unzipped real quick. The zipper works. This thing would swallow me. It's made in, what's it made at? Made in India. What? This is a heavy. No. <laughs> India's like, excuse me. Memorials. Right there it is, and it's quilted. That is a thick leather jacket. And with the weather, you can't never tell what the weather's going to be here in Kentucky. This would be great. I'm at $10. Let y'all see the embroidery on it. I'm at 15. Y'all see with James. I'm at 15 looking for 17 and a half. 15 looking for 17 and a half. 15 looking for 17 and a half. I'm at 15 looking for 17 and a half. The collar's great. No cracks. It's genuine leather. I'm at 15 looking for 17 and a half. 15 looking for 17 and a half. I'm at 15. I'm at 15 looking for 17 and a half. 15 looking for 17 and a half. So that the James Blevins for $15. Right there, James and Chip got that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, now this is plastic. It's a great little plastic. Bulldozer. It's got the wheels underneath. The tracks don't move. But that works great. It's a cat. Good sturdy toy right there. I know we got Tonkas too, but I don't know if we got them off a truck yet. Yeah, I hear Bell. Come here, Bella. Bell's like, I want to go out. Somebody start me in at a Two and a half on this. It's a great little toy to sit outside. And before you know it, the kids will be able to play outside again. With the school's out the rest of the week, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That winter just looks so awesome for me now. Yeah, you young go out. I got two and a half from Jerry. When I was a kid, it didn't stop me. <laughs> I got three from Rebecca. Three looking for Three looking four. I got three looking four. I got Rebecca swaggered in at three. I got three looking four. Three dollars looking four. Oh, uh, call Bradley. Bradley wants to buy. Oh. Hi right, guys, I'm back. And I guess we're selling that to Rebecca Swagger for three dollars. Three dollars? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I leave for a second, child. Sell it to her. Oh, oh John God. Carter came in there four. You say Charles's job, John. <laughs> <laughs> you say, uh, Indy's going to give you a call, Joni, okay? All right, Rebecca, I need five now. Look here, I could have played with that when I was a kid, Charles. Yeah. Instead of playing with rocks and hedge apples. <laughs> How many of you guys ever played with hedge apples? A lot of them probably don't know what a hedge apple is. No. Hedge apple tag. Hey, Rebecca, you want to go five? We used to we used to play hedge apple. We used to fight with hedge apples. We'd have a wars and we we throw in things. You ever got hit upside the head with one of them? You knew you got hit upside the head with something. <laughs> yeah, they hurt. Yeah, and they do hurt. Oh man, I'm too young to know what they. All right, we before. sold that to John. <laughs> Becky didn't come back in there. Rebecca didn't. John yeah, well, that's all we had to play with when we was a kid. All right, guys, coming up next. Let's see, I had some other stuff lined up. Uh, I've sort of got sidetracked a little bit. A little bit. What do I have over here, Charles, that I was going to sell the big item? 
All right, guys, these are some more of those Wilton cake pans. And we're going to sell two cars. This is sort of look like a, what, a Corvette maybe? or No, a Nissan. <laughs> and that looks like a, I don't know what, but you're getting both cake pans. Like one for one money, I got $6, huh? Looks like one of them cars you see all the clowns hanging out. I don't know what, <laughs> what that car would be. Did you let her know? <laughs> And I got six from one to six, and you're getting both of them one money. I mean, you got a kid's birthday coming up. You don't go out and buy expensive cake, uh, make him a car cake, you know, a little boy, either one of them, make them two. And I've got six dollars. I got seven from Miss Chrissy Carter. Chrissy Carter. You got eight from one to six. You got eight dollar bid. Oh, we probably can't get this over there, can we? Yeah, I'll get over there. Oh, this is a nice piece right here. Oh, we're selling early, and they said you're taking it in the house. No. <laughs> I had to make a panini. Panini. I got $10 from Christy Carter, and I got some more of these cake pans we'll be selling out throughout the week. No, you know, Randy, I've, I actually got one in a storage unit. Some of you guys may got Wanda Sexton at 15. Some of you guys may remember me trying to sell at it. Well, I did sell a hedge alpha when I put a $20 bill in it. Yeah. Okay, we sold that to Wanda Sexton for $15. Now, guys, this is an expensive piece of equipment right here. If you like making this, oh, is a. We're keeping are we keeping it? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm trying to sell it twice. Andy said they was keeping it. She said, no, no. <laughs> she said they was a keeping it. Panini. Yeah, look what else is there. She said, and he goes, but where do you put it on the phone? Charles, I'm going to sell his box full of stamps. This came in the unit. It's a little wooden box, and you're getting all the stamps in it. It's got a few stamps in it. It ain't worth much, I don't think, guys. Well, I don't know. There's a. The nice little cheese box. And you're getting all the old stamps down in there. And I got uh, Ricardo at five, and I'll let y'all bid, and I'm going to grab something else real quick. Yeah, Ronald. <laughs> and I wear dresses sometimes. Just don't tell everybody else. Charlie, you're going to try to find me some pretty decent items over there. And we sold that. And guys, are y'all want to y'all want to see a quilt tonight? That that sold to Ricardo. Okay. Ricardo uh, Salinas. All right, guys, we have got we're fixing to sell a uh, curio cabinet, and this is a Kenneth Cole watch right here. Is that right, Kenneth Cole? Yes. These are pretty nice, and I guess all these watches was new. This guy must have just bought them new. See the sticker still on the back there. <laughs> And Kenneth Cole's, you know, not a super expensive watch, but that's pretty expensive. And it's new. Lisa's trying to buy Steve another watch for Valentine's Day. So he has a choice. And these are probably forty, fifty dollar watches, I'd say. And this is a new one right here. It's nice. Well, you could buy it for me, Gloria, then I just resell it. And I'm at 10 and I need 12 and a half, and it's well worth that. And I got 12 and a half from Mr. Buddy Keith. This could be the item that wins somebody some money tonight. You know it? Yeah, I think it's a battery one. Yeah, it is.
And Lou's coming in at $15. He beat Donna by a little bit. And like I said, this is a new watch. I got $17.50 on the Kenneth Cole watch. I'll leave it sitting right there while you guys bid it out. Yeah, you can turn it to me. I wish we could get that thing right here. We got one stuck on top of it. We might actually get a glass for it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, down there. Yeah, on this. You're at 20 from Lou. All right, guys, I'm back. Where we at on this? I got to sell it, I guess. I'm at $20. Is everybody done? Louisville is stomping, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. I got $20 from Lou. Yeah, Mark, that's Buddy Keith. That's our old buddy, buddy. So we sold that to do. Who? To do, to do, to Lou. Lou, okay. Not do, Lou. Guys, do y'all remember the Pink Panther and all his uh, Owen Corning's commercial for insulation? This is another Wilton cake plant. This one's pretty tall. And you can put anything you wanted to on this. Happy birthday. Wouldn't that be nice? Paint it, you know, frost it pink and all that good stuff. Well, thank you. We appreciate that, Lou. Louie. I got Christy Carter in at five, but I bet Wanda Sexton is going to do 10, Christy. Oh, she did six. Well, UK needed, UK needed to, that, that loss. I'll just tell you. They needed to let them know. Yeah, UK lost by two on a last second shot that should have been uh, a lot of people telling me it should have been a, a offensive goaltending or it would have went in overtime, but they needed that loss. Maybe they'll come in and far up and beat Tennessee, the number one team. I got, oh, come on, Christy. Don't be chicken. Don't be chicken. Don't be scared. Get in my pocket, Christy. Right there if you're scared. I sold it to Wanda Sexton at $10. Now, We've got a curio cabinet. And uh, Ruth, that's what we're going to sell tomorrow night. I can't get to it tonight. You can see it right over there. Yeah, Linda, they got beat by two points. This is a curio cabinet. Now, guys, it needs a little tender loving care on it. Where does it need tender loving care at? It looks good to me. It, it holds a... Uh, it can hold about four or five shelves. Now, you would have to get you some shelves cut down there at Johnson's. And, yeah, Chip, we are going to do the quilt, okay? <laughs> but uh, you can put several shelves in it. Gentlemen out there, let uh, me speak to you for You can put several shelves in it. I'll be right back, guys. And the quilt will be coming up in just a minute. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is a good little curo cabinet. And kind of get all of it in. She's staying six foot tall. And it's got the bottom. Down at the bottom, you can open this door. And put a few things in. And it's got, of course, the plug. It's got two bulbs in it, I think. Let me look, make sure the mirror is not reflecting. Yep, it's got two bulbs in it. And I'm only at ten dollars on it. Ten looking for twelve and a half. Ten dollars looking for twelve and a half. I got one to sexton at ten. I got fifteen from Norman Bunch. 
I got 20 from Debbie Hightower. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. I got 20 looking for 22 and a half. Got 22 and a half. Got 40 from John Morrell. I got $40 from John. I got 40 looking for 42 and a half. How many shelves? It takes one, two, three shelves in it. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. 42 and a half looking for 45. I got Becky Swaggered in at 42 and a half. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. 42 and a half looking for 45. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. 42 and a half looking for 45. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. Right there it is, guys. I'm at 42 and a half looking for 45. 42 and a half looking for 45. 42 and a half going once. 42 and a half going twice. 42 and a half. No, Charles, every time I leave, you're <laughs> giving stuff away. Now, the glass won't cost them much to get it cut down, Johnson. This is a pretty nice one. Needs polishing. Are we done? Everybody done, Charles? Are we going to sell it? You want to sell it as that? Sell it to Rebecca Swagger. You ain't kin to Jimmy Swagger, are you, Becky? He used to be my favorite uh, minister as far as teaching wise and preaching wise. Loved him. All right, now, you know we sold the little stoves the other night. Charles, have you sold this yet? No. She said no. We've got a metal kitchen, guys. I think uh, Ansley bought the little stove and somebody else bought the other one. Look at this, guys. This little metal kitchen right here. Look at that. It got a little fork in it. <laughs> got a little stove right there. Isn't that? This is probably from the 60s. Yeah, yeah, this is all metal. Let me put the put the little sliding drawer up. All right, honey, thank you. Are you taking that too? No, I'm not going to be able to sell that. I was going to sell it, but it looks so darn. It ain't deep <laughs> enough for anything. Well, you could do casseroles in that. Yeah. But here's the back of it, guys. Look how neat that is. This is in a. I wouldn't say mint shape. But I say it's in good shape. There's the top of it. This is old metal uh, cabinet. Like I said, this probably dates back. Well, it's a, it's made by a wonderful toy company. In the U.S. Ideal Toy Company. Oh, it's Ideal. Yeah, it's to it's old. Yeah, it's a pretty nice piece there. Uh, if you like click collecting the kid toys, let's look at the bottom. I ain't looked at it. Oh, it's in good shape. Like I said, it's not in mint shape, but it's pretty doggone nice. Somebody give me about twenty dollars. Start that little kid's toy in good shape. I'd say it's around sixties, uh, early seventies at least, maybe a little bit earlier. I'll let y'all bid there on it. Andy ain't letting me sell nothing tonight, is she? <laughs> she needs that. Yeah, Charles, this one with that motorcycle. That's all oh, good. Put it up there. You're five. Is that all? Yeah. Good seven. You're eight. I'm at eight. They're dollar me to death, Charles. What'd you do to them? <laughs> we ought to be at 40 on this by now, surely. Oh, we lost it, guys. Let's so stop the bidding. I'm at eight, nine, eight dollars. Are they back yet? No. You got all the paperwork stuff to go. I don't know. Or is it in the truck? It's in the truck. Too. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it needs to sign down. I bet $9, $9 to go 10 9 10 $9 to go 10 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I got Charles at nine. It looks like Charles is going to win that. Nine dollars sold. Going and out of here. Got a porcelain dog coming up. Uh, I'm trying to throw in some common items for you guys. And that way, uh, this may be the item that went some money tonight. Okay? That's why I'm throwing up some more common items that won't bring too big of a price. So you guys, uh, uh, oh, D Dana came in. She came in at 10, too late. Sorry, Dana. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to throw up some, you know, anywhere from 2 and a half to $10 items for you guys. Uh, so it might be the item number that might win some money, okay? If you've not bought anything tonight, go ahead and try to get you something bought. I'll have to eat that, honey, when I get... How would I drink that? Is that yours? Ooh, Red Wing. It's got one little crack in it, Charles. We can't sell it. Mm -hmm. I'm at seven dollars with a uh, uh, Rebecca. We're probably not going to be on as late as we was last night mm -hmm. because of the way that I've been feeling. Uh, probably not much longer at all. I know all the kids are out of school tomorrow and everything in Allen County this week. Uh, so, Rebecca, we're not going to be on much later. Tomorrow night, we'll try to go to midnight, okay? So, y'all make plans for that. Tonight, we probably won't go that late because, uh, like I said, we, we were down in her back and we took some medicine that didn't agree with her stomach. And we're going to try to just lay on her back tonight and on a heat pad and try to get better. Big start tomorrow. we got a lot of great items tomorrow. And has anybody been on the porcelain dog? No. <laughs> Anybody want to go two and a half on it? There you go. So to Barbara Gray. Now, won't that be funny if that's the winner tonight? Oh, no. Look at, there's a lag or something because they come all over the place then. Oh, we done sold it to Barbara Gray's now. Hey, Charles, where's those nice at? Or nice. In the case. Okay. All the, uh, right here. Oh, I ain't seen those. Uh, yeah. Guys, y'all care if I sell a few knives real quick here? I don't even know what kind they are. I've not even looked down in this case. Y'all don't care if we're going to sell a few knives. Well, I'd love to watch Joe's out here get rid of, go ahead and get rid of that thing over there, but I don't know. It's pretty, but I don't know if we get to where they can see it. So I thought we was going to get a glass for it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to sell some ice here. And like I said, I don't even know what kind we got. This is a pretty nice looking one right here. I'll open the blades up and see what kind it is. It's a four blade. Frost cutlery surgical steel. This is a frost cutlery knife. Frost cutlery. A pretty nice uh, handle there, ain't it, guys? Can y'all see that? It's a frost cutlery four blade. I got a $5 bid from Randy. Randy. I got six from Stefan. Well, that's why we try to start at six, Gloria. And that way you can at least have two or three hours of fun with us. And this is a marathon this week is what we're calling it. So we are going to keep some late hours, just not as late tonight. I got eight from Randy Maynard. Nice little knife there. Frost cutlery. Uh, just put a four blade frost cutlery. Oh, what's that one? Girl. Ooh. I got 10 from Jody Key. You know, Frost Cutlery, that's a, you know, that's, there's starting to really be collectible. Yeah, the barrel sold. All right, Chip. 
Hey, Chip, just hold on. I'll sell. I'll sell that quilt next. I, I, my mind. Hold on, Chip. I'm gonna sell the barrel unsold. Uh, they went cheap. You're gonna be disappointed. Joan Tuck. Are they registered? Yeah. yeah. We got 12.50 bid on that knife. And guys, I'm gonna sell a, a quilt because some people's wanting to go to bed. Chip is, and we done sold the barrel. That barrel just brought 105 dollars, Chip. That mountain dude making my stomach sick. <laughs> Uh, John Tuck bought that at twelve fifty. Charles, all right, we're gonna sell a quilt. Chip, you just hold on, okay? Thanks for bidding on that knife, guys. I got this one coming up here in a minute. Chip, that barrel went for just a hundred and five dollars. Hundred and five dollars. All right, Charles, which quilt is it we're selling? This one right here. All right, we're going to get the quilt down, guys. You got it, Charles? Yeah, just one up there, ain't it? So. It's just one quilt. Yeah, there's just one. Here. Oh, that's a pretty nice one right there. All right, guys. Uh, John, would you have pulled one corner of that? Hey, you want to do it the other way? Too? Yeah, do it yeah. the other way there. <laughs> I've seen a couple of spots. Right yeah, there's a couple of little spots yeah, on it, guys. I want to show y'all. Bring it to me a little bit, guys. This has been washed a lot, it looks like to me. But see, I'm going to show you the few little spots on it. Needs, needs repairing. A few little down on that corner down there. But overall, it's a pretty, let me see the tan song. Yeah, it looks to be hand sewn to me. All right, back yeah. up, guys. That's this is a full, uh, uh, full size. It looks like to me. Flip it over. And on the back side, we've got a hole that's not all the way through. And right here, it's not all the way through. Yeah. All right, let's show them the quilt now. Try to show you all the imperfections. That's a nice quilt, though. It took a lot of time to sew that baby. I mean, a lot of time. Let me. Yeah, this one's hand sewn. It is hand sewn. It took a lot of time with that, you know it. And they used this quilt. They washed it some. You can tell by the way it's thin. And like I said, there's a few little places on it, but overall, it's a pretty nice quilt. And I'm at twenty-five dollars with Tina. Overall, pretty nice quilt. Would you say so, Joseph? Yeah. Do your head like this. There you go. <laughs> I use Well, we've got a neighbor here that, uh, if you'll befriend her, uh, Diane Hogue, that she can give you some pointers on it, and I'm sure a lot of these other ladies could too. Angley. And a lot of people that does the quilting, they get into it, and uh, they have a really good time. <laughs> But Drew Lindsay that comes on here and uh, Diane Hogue, she may still be watching tonight. I don't know for sure, but she's a great quilter. I got John in at 40, but she's a great quilter. And some of these other ladies that's on here are too. But Diane would probably be glad to give you some pointers uh, over Facebook. Uh, Lisa, we're going to wrap up here pretty soon because uh, I don't I, I don't feel real good. I'm going to try to get my back uh, get off my back. I got 42.50 from Tina. I'm going to try to get off my back and lay on a heating pad and try to recover a little bit before we have a big day tomorrow. I got Chip Connor in at 45, guys. $45 be able to go 50. $45 be able to go 50. I know it, Shelly. $45 be able to go 50. I got forty-five fifty. Forty-five dollar be able to go fifty. Forty-five dollar be able to go fifty. Forty-five dollar be able to go fifty. I got forty-five fifty. We sell at forty-five, forty-seven and a half. And that—that's uh, a pretty nice looking quilt there, Charles. Mm -hmm. I'm at forty-seven and a half. Would you go fifty? Forty-seven and a half. Would you go fifty? 
doing that to all fill out. Forty seven fifty Thank you, Nick. Forty seven now to go fifty. Forty seven now would you go fifty? Tina said she was out. I got fifty. Fifty dollar baby to go fifty two and a half. Fifty dollar baby to go fifty two and a half. Are they registered? They're gone. Never mind. Somebody deleted them. Yep. <laughs> uh, what's what's Sandy Boardman saying? Can't. What's, $45 is where you're at. I'm at $45? No, she... Does she mean not? She, she, can't want, be, she can't be anymore. She's she's out. So Chip's going to get it at $45, looks like. All right, so did Chip $45. I guess that's what that meant. Yeah. Chip, you got that. I don't know how all that played out. I don't know what went on there. <laughs> No, Eric, you didn't miss no exercise equipment tonight. We'll probably have some maybe one night this week. Oh, y'all answering questions. I was trying to follow the comments, guys. All right. All right, we got another knife here, Charles. I'm going to let Charles... You're going to sell this pretty knife here, Charles. I bet this will bring $35. Imperial. It's nice. Pearl handle looks like. Yeah. Imperial two blade. Right there. Imperial two blade. It's got a good sharp edge on it. Both blades do. It is a pretty knife. I'm at 20. Looking for 22 and a half. I'm at 20 looking for 22 and a half. Yeah, it's trying to focus on my shirt for some reason. I'm at 22 and a half looking for 25. I'm at 22 and a half looking for 25. I'm at 22 and a half looking for 25. There we go. I'm at 22 and a half looking for 25. Got Steve. Welcome in, Nevermore. Uh, he get rest your mom, Nevermore. I'll call him by his name. <laughs> I'm at 22 and a half looking for 25. 22 and a half looking for 25. Oh, he's a new subscriber. Yeah, he's a new subscriber. Yeah, get rest your buddy. We have a lot of great items. There we go. I see you. I love you. All right, 22 and a half with Mr. Steve Matter. Steve, this is a nice knife. I thought for sure this would bring about 30 some. Joni, you know why you're buffering all the time? Because you would not let uh, Jeff buy that barrel. So we put a curse on you, the buffering curse. So does Steve Matter. I lost how much it was. 20, 22 and a half. Oh, Steve stole that one, didn't he? Guys, we've got a resale here. We've got a resale on this nice water, crop watering thing. And I will have a slight reserve on this, guys, because it's super nice. It's a four gallon crop. And I'll show y'all something. I'll show y'all the one thing, and I pointed this out the other night. I did point this out the other night. You see that crack right there? That age crack? That is not all the way through. As you can turn around and look, it is not all the way through. 
But this is a nice four gallon watering crock. It's got your spout on it. There's the bottom of it right there, guys. And we do have a slight reserve on this. This was a not this right here. We had to resell it. They changed their mind on it. But it's got your nice blue bands up through here. Beautiful crock right here. And we'll start the bidding on it. We've got a 30 starting bid. 40. The four gallon. This would look nice setting up anywhere in your house. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. 50. And it does have some uh, hairline crack, cracks, like I told you, but they don't go through. They don't go through on it. See these little hairline cracks, them don't go through. The one here goes through a little bit. This one goes through some. But it don't take away from this piece whatsoever. I think it just add character to it. And I'm only at 50 bucks. And guys, we're gonna let it. We're gonna let it go for whatever it goes for, because of the few little age cracks it's got in it at the top. We are gonna let it go for whatever it goes for. Like I said, it's got some little age cracks there at the top, and one of them does go through. So we're gonna let it go for what it goes for. Like I said, this will look nice setting up on top of your cabinets, uh, just about anywhere. It's sort of in the kitchen where you want to set this. And I'm at sixty dollars. Sixty dollar view video, sixty-five. Sixty dollar view video, sixty-five. I'm at sixty dollar view video, sixty-five. Sixty dollar view video, sixty-five. I got sixty dollar bid going once. Ask for sixty-five. I got a sixty dollar bid. Ask for sixty-five. I'm going twice on it, guys. I got Ricky Long in at sixty dollars. This brought one hundred five dollars the other night, guys. You guys watched this sale. You know what it brought. And I'm at sixty dollar bid. Ask for sixty-five. Third and final call, Tina and Dennis. Are you guys done? Because I'm going to sell it to Ricky at $60. Bam, sold it. $60. Right back where it was. <laughs> thank you guys for bidding. Dennis, thank you for bidding. Dennis is our new county judge executive doing a wonderful job. Tina's an old friend of ours. Used to go to church with her a lot. But thank you guys for bidding. All right, guys, we're going to be moving right along here. I'm going to let Charles sell a really, really good knife now. Take a little bit high at 69. What? It's yeah. Wow, they let them come back on them. Oh. Yeah. It's Duke. I hate to say it. <laughs> yeah. Charles, I'm going to let you sell a really good knife right there. Wow. Two different colors. One handle is another color. Never mm -hmm. seen that. That is a nice one. You have to have your thing to see what it is. Yeah, let me see. We just had it up there. Yeah, I just had it up there. Hold on, guys. I don't know what I did with it. Here you go. Got yeah. it right here. And then we're going to move through some items, guys, and we're going to call it a night. I'm going to move through a bunch of items here. Where's my food off that pen? Who's my other food? Oh, they done got it. Is that Charles's? Mm. Charles Cutlery. Surgical steel. Frost cutlery, surgical steel on this one. This is a frost cutlery, surgical steel, two blade. Ooh, that's that's a nice looking knife there, Charles. Yeah, that's a little bit of. You have to hold it back sometimes. I gotta get this off real quick. It's a little piece of tape right here on it. Uh, thank you for sharing there, Nevermore. Appreciate it. There we go. Had a piece of tape on the blade. That's frost cutlery. Yeah, I've seen that never more. I really appreciate that. Thank you a bunch. 
And we're going, to, this is a marathon week. We're going to every night. Usually we go Tuesday, Wednesday night, Friday, and Saturday night. But this is a marathon week because we got so much stuff out of four storage units up there in Ohio. Uh, Steve been against Lisa and going backwards. Well, I'm taking Lisa's. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I got 17 and a half from Lisa. Got I got 20 from Randy. Charles, Look. all them watches, be sure to put them things back down in there. They don't go with them watch. Yeah, the containers or the uh, holders. Yeah. I'm at uh, twenty two fifty with Lisa. Looking for thirty. I'm at twenty two fifty looking for thirty. Twenty two fifty looking for thirty. I'm at twenty two fifty. Somebody go twenty five. Twenty two fifty looking for twenty five. I'm at twenty two fifty looking for twenty five. I'm at 2250 looking for 25. It's a frost cutlery surgical steel. Tina. <clears throat> I'm at 2250 looking for 25. 2250 looking for 25. I'm at 2250 looking for 25. I'm at 2250 looking for 25. 2250 looking for 25. Slow death to Lisa Matter for twenty two fifty. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Ziploc bags. Trying to fix my glasses real quick, guys. There we go. Here you go, Charles. What is this? It's another nice one right there. Frost color. Is that a frost? Looks like it. It looks like their emblem. Is it? No, that's a WS 1975. Made in USA. Then I'll tell you what that one is, Charles. They'll have to look at that and tell you. Guys, I don't know what this one is. It's made in USA. Can you guys tell what that one is? That's a Winchester. Winchester, that's what it is. Okay. Yep. Oh, what's that say on the side of it? Smith and Wesson. Oh, Smith and oh, Wesson. Oh, it's got the sheath and the Smith and Wesson. Oh, Smith and Wesson. I thought it was Winchester, but this is Smith. Heavy handle. Good balance, though. It's got a good balance blade on it, but heavy handle, because it's a heavy blade. Focus that in. See Smith and Wesson. It needs a little cleaning right there on the blade. It's got the Smith and Wesson sheath. I'm at twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty looking for thirty. Twenty-seven fifty looking for thirty. Twenty-seven fifty. Somebody go thirty. So you can. Get that off. That's not rust. That's a some kind of stain that's on the blade. I'm at 30. Looking for 35. What is that? Kind of feels like a sticky Coke. Like somebody poured Coke on it at one time. I'm at 30. Looking for 35. 30. Looking for 35. Oh, does it take like to sell this carnival glass? Can we have the glasses for that? Is that what's in that box over there, Jerry? Oh, I think so. That's beautiful. That I'm is. at 32.50, looking for 35. Got 35, looking for 40. 35, looking for 40. No, no. No, those are lighter. Yeah. That is beautiful. I, mean, I was wondering where those went to. I'm at 35, looking for 40. 35, looking for 40. 35, looking for 40. 35, looking for 40. There you go, John. It's yours. Is it too late to sell this beautiful carnival glass pitcher? He crazy. <laughs> Look at the color on this, guys. John. Yeah. Look at the color on that. Y'all see the color on this carnival glass? Oh, Duke won. Boom. Good night, Chrissy. <laughs> 
this is nice guys look at this well made it's heavy i'm not really good with glass yes the knife sold all right we're gonna sell it y'all start the bid now i i told uh i told uh charles you can uh head on home okay. where's all the paperwork for that other truck inside it's in, it's in the truck all righty we'll get it back tonight okay you want to swing by to, and check on them yeah I'll go get to 15. you want to take the navigator yeah I'll okay by. Find out why i mean this is absolutely by. gorgeous guys look at the colors on that you see the colors on that Oh, Ainsley, I don't know if I'm going to sell that one tonight. That was absolutely gorgeous. We may sell it tonight. I mean, it's going to knock your socks off when y'all see this other one. And I'm only at $20 with Linda Guffey. All right, see you, Charles. And this one's got some really, I'm going to take, 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 just take oh. the navigator. Watch the mud. Yep. <laughs> she said she saw it. And I'm only at $20 with this one, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, the other one. The other one's going to make this one look sick, I'll just tell you. Now, I shouldn't say that before this one's sold, but I'm at 20 looking for 22 and a half. Uh, dang it, Jerry, stop it. Don't let them see it. And I got 22 and a half on this. I need 25. This ought to go for at least 35 or 40. But it's late in the night. Yeah, I'm going to put a reserve on that other one, Ruth, because it's so late right now. But I think you guys will take care of it. I'm at 22 and a half. Yeah, that one is beautiful, isn't it? And Debbie Hightower has done gone, and I told her that we didn't we didn't, uh, didn't have no good glassware tonight. All right, we're at 22 and a half. You want to go 25? I got 25 from Joy. I got 25, 30. 25, we could go 30. I got some metal yellow somewhere. Y'all bid it out. I don't know what I did with my glass. I think right there it is. I got 25, and I'm fixing to let her roll. And we have sold that to Joy Pearson for $25. Oh, Kathy, you got to bid a little quicker. All right, guys, raise your sights. Look at this piece right here. This has got the green in it. I mean, this is absolutely stunning, guys. Look at that. It's got more green than I've ever seen in a carnival glass piece. And this stands about 13 inches tall. Absolutely gorgeous, heavy piece. Look at the colors on that. And the camera's not doing it justice. I'll just tell you that. <coughs> that is gorgeous, ain't it? That's probably the prettiest. But that's like that bowl the other night. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually a little prettier than it. They're coming back now. They're coming back now, guys. They're coming back. Yeah, this is one of the prettiest pieces. I wish you guys could see it in person a little better. And I'm hoping there's a lot more of this in the hundreds of boxes that I've got to go through for the rest of this week's sale. I mean, absolutely gorgeous, guys. One of the fanciest carnival glasses pictures, and it's heavy too. That's not thin. That's really thick. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. See how thick that is? And I'd say this would probably run up, if I was trying to estimate the value of that, $150, $300 easy. And everybody's coming back. We're not going to sell it until everybody gets back. But when you see us in person, the color, I like the green in it. I like the carnival glass. It's got more of the green. I think that's a little rare. 
we'll let it sit there until everybody gets back. And we're only at forty dollars, only at forty-two fifty. I will, Martha. I'll sell. I'll sell some stuff like that That's right before we end it. Is that a sunflower? Yeah, it sort of looks like that. We will, Martha. And as soon as everybody gets back, we'll y'all keep a bidding. As soon as everybody gets back. And this is probably one of the better pieces of glassware that I've sold all week long or sold actually in the last few months. But I will sell some more common items real quick. That way everybody get a chance to maybe get an item bought. So we might draw your name for the money tonight. Look how pretty that is, guys. <coughs> absolutely gorgeous and we got about 20 or 30 more people Brady's not got a knife in over a week and everybody about back yet We're probably not even an eighth of the value of this, but we're going to start selling right now. Everybody's back. Joni, you might as well get it to sit next to that slot machine. <laughs> All right, I've got 47.50. Yes, Rebecca, you do. And we're going to, I've got to sell a few little common items for everybody else. And I'm only at $50, guys. $50 be able to go 60. $50 be able to go 60. Now they're back, guys. We're going to start auctioning it. And I know this is well over a $100, $150 piece, maybe even more. And I don't know a lot about glassware, but I know this is a beautiful piece. The green in it is what makes it. You see that green? Love that. I'm at 50. Ansley was in the other stream bidding on other items. Did you win anything, Ansley, on that other stream? <laughs> I'm at $50. Be able to go 55. $50. Be able to go 55. $50. Be able to go 55. I'm at 50. 55. $50. Be able to go 55. $50. Be able to go 55. $50. Be able to go 55. And did we have any other bidders on this? Because we're fixing to have to roll. I thought Johnny was going to be in on it. I'm at 50, 55. 50, I'll be to go 55. Yeah, we ought to be well over 100 on this. But we're going to let it roll, guys. I'm at 50, 55. 50, I'll be to go 55 going once. You're going to wish you bid on this, guys. I got 50, I'll bid from Roof Rise. 50, I'll bid as for 55 going twice. We're near Bowling Green, Kentucky, Scottsville, Kentucky, the very southern and south central Kentucky. I'm at $50. Be able to go 55. Rebecca said she was out. Roof Rice, third and final call on this beautiful piece. And Ruth, if it holds at that, you've got yourself a bargain. And we have sold it. Sold it. Yes, we're just about 20 minutes from the Corvette Museum. And you know, I've never been to, uh, never more, I've never been to the Corvette Museum in my life. And we're about 20 minutes away from it. We're about 10 minutes from the Tennessee line. We're about 60 miles uh, uh, north of Nashville, Tennessee, about an hour from Nashville. Uh, pretty good little area that we live in, nice little town that we live in. All right, good. Congratulations, Ruth. That was a good buy right there. I'm going to see if Randy can't win himself a knife. All right, Randy, I'm going to see if you can win a knife, okay? And then we're going to sell some common stuff. Then we're going to have our drawing. Hopefully, Rebecca Swaggart won't have to look. Randy done bid 15. <laughs> he done bid 15. This is a stainless. This is a Pakistan, but it's pretty. I can't read what it says. <laughs> Let 
Whenever I feel blue, I start breathing again. That's pretty neat. But look at that. Isn't the color on that good? This is a Pakistan knife, but it's beautiful. See the colors on that? Randy said if it's got a blade. i right, tell y'all what I'll do. Before I do the item drawing, I'm going to draw the, uh, the names out. Okay? Sold Randy. Randy Maynard, $15. Sold it. Randy Maynard. All right, Rebecca, we're going to give you a chance at least on the names. And then we'll sell a few common items, a few more items uh, for the, the big money. All right, guys. Get ready. This is for $10 bill, and this is Rebecca's having to go to work. So this is just for sharing. This is just for being here, okay? We are going to do two $20 bills cash, okay? Two $20 bills. And the first one is Blake McQueen for $20. You got 30 seconds, Blake, to tell me if you're here or not. Blake McQueen, you have got 30 seconds. I've not seen Blake on here for a while. No, you got it now. You got to be Blake. You can't just say here, Twilight and Lou. All right, Blake is not here for $20. So we're going to draw another one, guys. Good luck. Joni Sinners. Now, don't you feel bad? Joni Sinners, $20 cash. Joni's here. Congratulations, Joni. Now, you give that to Jeff to help pay for that uh, jukebox, not what do you want a slot machine. I'm mixing it up. All right, this is for another $20 bill. Joni Sinners. Joni Sinners again. You go, Joni. You should have bought that Now, this, this is what it pay, why it pays to, to share. You get your name in there six times. See, look at that. There's both her names there. Joni Sinners. Isn't that cool? Now, Joni, go buy you a lottery ticket. That's why it pays the share. That's $40 cash, guys. $40. Yeah, we're Joni. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to give it to you in quarters. Okay? And, and uh, let's make this a, I'm going to make this an even 50. I'm going to do a $10 one just for a consolation prize for you guys. And if I draw out Joni Center's name again, you better go buy a lottery ticket. Jeff Reynolds for ten dollars. That'll be fifty in cash. Fifty dollars in cash. Jeff, are you still with us, buddy? I'm waiting on Jeff Centers for the ten dollar consolation prize. Uh, all right, Jeff's here. Now, Jeff, listen to this. Jeff. Do you want to go double or nothing, Jeff? I got a question for you. And if you answer it correctly, Jeff, you'll double your money, okay? And you only have 10 seconds to answer it, all right? You only have 10 seconds. Are you with me, Jeff? Here's your question, Jeff. Okay? And you're not going to lose anything. You're going to win $10 regardless, okay? It's not really double or nothing. But here's your question, Jeff. Now, listen closely. You'll have 10 seconds to answer it. 
in tonight's episode of Uncle Jed's online live YouTube auction, what color of pants does Uncle Jed have on? You have 10 seconds, Jeff, to answer it. What color of pants does Uncle Jed have on tonight? Take a guess, Jeff. Nobody help. You got five seconds, Jeff. Take a guess. What color of pants does Uncle Jed have on tonight? Just take a guess, Jeff. To double your money up. All right, Linda King actually answered it for you, but you said gray, and I've got black pants on tonight. I got the moonwalking black pants. So you still get $10. Congratulations, buddy. Sometimes it pays to watch. <laughs> All right, now, uh, that was for Rebecca. Rebecca, sorry we didn't draw your name out. That's $50 cash. Now, guys, we're going to sell just a few more items, okay? One night I asked what color shirt I had on, and I had the camera turned, and nobody could answer it. But congratulations to the winner. Jody Sinners, two times, 40 bucks, and Jeff Reynolds got $10 cash. That's $50 cash, guys. And we don't know what the cash amount is for the items. And here's what we do now. If you've not bought an item tonight, then you're not going to win, okay? Uh that right there is for everybody to, to not have to, to buy anything just for watching to try to give them a chance to win, okay? But now, we, how many items have we got so far? 90. We have sold 90 items tonight. So right now, there's one through 90 in that bowl. And the new folks may not know this, but we'll here when we get done selling, we'll draw out the number and say it was a, a knife, a number item 48, and it was a knife whether it was $2 and a half or whatever, you will win the amount of cash. And last night was a $100 bill is what we gave away. I can't tell you what it's going to be tonight, but it will be some cash. And I don't want to make a person. Yes, Sandy, we drawed your name four times and you didn't answer. No, we didn't. All right, we're going to give you a chance. To, if you've not bought anything tonight, we're going to give you a chance to buy something, okay? But congrats to the winner so far. All right, here we go, guys. And I tell you what, what better thing to give somebody a chance to win something on? Uh, and do some pets. Did you find the candy yet? I'm not worried about it. We're going to do some pets. And that way to give you a chance to buy something. All right, this is the Tasmanian pets. Bears and a snowman. I know. And he was driving me crazy last night. I was like, For the Tasmanian devil. I'll hook you up with some sets, honey. Thank you. <laughs> it was like having random Yogi Bear and Charlie Brown. Actually, we're going to do three at a time, Mom, okay? On the old Pez. Now, these are the old one. Now, Brian LaPlu ought to get in on this one. You're going to get three older Pezes. They do have the feet. I haven't got any without the feet. The feet are worth more money. But this will give you a chance, guys, to win something, okay? Martha Hunt, better get in there. Yeah, Brian LaPlue's the only one I think we got that roots for Chicago. And I got Martha Hunt in at $3. I got $4. That's right, Lisa was first. Lisa, now you know Brian's going to want this one. That'd be a good Valentine's present from his sister-in-law. Ha, <laughs> <coughs> I've already got a five dollar bid, Joan, and that was Lisa Metter, and we have sold them the Lisa Metter for five dollars. That's the Taz uh, and Chicago Cubs, Mama. All right, Mama, I got this one. That's uh, Lisa Metter. All right, the next little set we got—they've got the Muppets going here. They got the Muppets. You're getting all three of them. That's Kermit, and uh, that's uh, that's uh, the Cookie Monster and uh, Waldo. 
And Martha Hunt's in at three dollars. All right, Lisa. Fozzie, that's Fozzie and Kermit and Miss Piggy. And I'm already at three dollars with Martha Hunt. <laughs> I got five with Edna Brown. And this is sort of going to be a speed round, guys, okay? Uh, you see Charles Smith up there where he says here? Yeah. Oh, Charles bid five. Charles bid five. No, he retracted it. Okay. I sold that to Edna Brown for five dollars. Now we've got a Star Wars collection coming up. That's a CP3O and R2D2, and that's a, a Sergeant Trooper. And I got three dollars. And these are collectible guys. They're worth a little bit more than you're paying for them, I think. I got four with Charles Smith, five with Lisa Matter, two with Steve Matter. Six with Gloria, Mad Dog, Mad Ox. I got six from Gloria. Gloria, Gloria. And I sold him the. I sold him to Gloria, Mad Ox for six dollars. Now we got some more Star Wars figures. That's Luna the Hun. And that's a uh, R two D two, and that's Prince. Uh, Queen, Prince Queen. <laughs> I'm Gloria your father. Yeah, Gloria, Lisa came in late. Did Martha Hunt get to buy some yet? I don't so. No, I don't chew tobacco, Ruth. I smoke, but I don't chew tobacco. But thanks for asking. I got three dollars with Lisa Matter. Oh, Lou said this one was an Ewok. Well, we just sold these to Lisa for three dollars. Lisa Matter bought them for three dollars. Guys, I can't give them away at a dollar apiece. We got to sell something else. Lisa Matter got that. All right. Three dollars for three. I can't be doing that. They was bringing 10, 15 the other night. All right. I knew that was Prince Leia, whatever her name is. All right, guys. Raise your sights. This is a, I don't know what this is. It looks neat, though. Don't y'all think so? Primitive uh, water jug, I guess. Top don't come off. I don't guess you put no water in it. Yeah, you pack it. If you're a left-handed person, you pack it with that. If you're a right-handed person, you pack it with that one. Where'd you put those three at? That bowl. Oh, in the bowl. Okay. Oh, uh, who won that? Joan. Got Joan at five, guys. That is uh, like clay. Very, it's very like a light fragile. clay. Fragile. Real, real light clay. Five, six, five dollar bid to go six. Martha, you're out. You want to go six on it, Martha? Is Joan Tuck out of is that is she Linda King's sister? Oh, okay, so that's local. Five dollars. So all right, guys, we're gonna sell this cute little thing. Ain't that cute little powder and deal right there? 
little powdering deal. Ugly. I say cute, but it's ugly. Wow, cool beans. Congratulations. Forty one in May. They went to Star Wars movie on their first day. All right, on this cute little thing right here. This could be the winner of the big money, guys. The lid raises up on it. I'm at 250 go three. 250 bid would you go three? 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 I got three, four, three dollar bid would you go four? Three, four. It's pretty, ain't it? Pretty ugly. That's about the ugliest piece. I'll just tell y'all the truth. That is about the ugliest piece that I've ever seen. It's a powder thing, but it's it's about the ugliest piece that I've ever seen in my life. And I'm only at six dollars. Caroline wants us to sell the inside. It's just white inside. Yes, I think they got Nevermore's uh, information. Uh, what about clashing times with Shesh? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Sandy says she loves it, but it's ugly. All right, I'm fixing to sell it, guys. Y'all don't be counting on nothing being in it now. If y'all buy this ugly thing, it's going to be on y'all. Yeah, that'd be what it'd be good for, clay shooting. I'm at $10. And we have sold it for $10. Oh, now, Leanne, you know you take two and a half. You work here. You don't know it two and a half increments. <laughs> Sold it to Annette Blevins. Annette, congratulations on buying that ugly piece right here, okay? All right, we're going to sell our next item. Everybody else has been doing it. Not a thought right. Oh, did y'all want to see what was inside of it? Did y'all want to see what was inside of it? Dummy. Look there, what was inside of the ugly Annette Blevins. Randy was saying it. Ansley was saying it. Write down twenty dollars for a net. No, I don't have any. Annette knew what was going on there. Annette, you win this and you gained yourself ten dollars. Annette gained herself ten dollars. Plus, she got that nice, beautiful, ugly piece. Now, guys, I've got three, <laughs> three tea uh, tea kettles. I guess I should call them. I'm going to show y'all the, uh, yeah, guys, y'all need to come pick up some of this stuff tomorrow. We're running out of rooms on our shelves. But there's the stamp on that one. <clears throat> You're going to get choice on these. Choice on them. I'll show you the bottom of this one. I think this is a more of a, well, they're all silver plated, I guess. There's the bottom of that one. You're getting choice on all three of these. They're pretty. I just not got, I don't guess I got the rest of the sets. I'll probably sell these and find the rest of the sets. That's a unique one right there, and I like this middle one. Yeah, they're all different and cute. And I'm at $7 with Martha Hunt, and you're going to get choice. 
Don't let somebody get the one you want, okay? I'm a little teapot. How's that go? Short and cute. Short and stout. In goes the water and out goes through the spout. Down comes the spider, bites me on the leg. I smash it on the sidewalk and splatter his head. But don't rhyme at all. <laughs> You're fixing to catch far. <laughs> and I'm going to laugh. Oh, I think it's dangerous. I mean, $9, and I'm going to sell that. Which one do you want, Martha? You get choice, $9. And John just caught far. I told him, him over there talking smart to me and all that stuff. Boston butt. Fester's in the house. Guys, Uncle Fester's in the house. Give him that Uncle Fester look. Take that hood off. Give him the Uncle Fester wild eye. There he is, Uncle Fester. Back from the dead. Uh, Martha wants the middle one, honey. Uh, how would you like for me to classify that? that classified as the middle one. <laughs> no, uh, uh, actually, 8133. No, 2133. 2133. All right, Christy, you was my backup bidder. Which one do you want? Gail yeah, Feller said Baked Town. It sure didn't smell like Baked Town. <laughs> Smelled more like what Ruth was saying, bottom butt. The middle one. Now, there ain't no middle one, Christy. Come on. The middle one of the two sitting there. The middle one. Which one do you want? I'll tell you which one I would pick. I'd pick the weird looking one. Oh, she get the one you wanted, Christy? Did she get you one? Did you get the one you wanted? Okay. Anybody else then won't see that nine dollars a piece and that's cheap. I'll take the one on this side. This side? Yep. Uh, classified at 7470. I didn't say I wanted it. I said <laughs> I was somebody else. Oh. <laughs> Anybody want these at nine a piece? One on your left. Ruth, which one do you want? Oh, Christy already. Oh, Christy says the one on one on my left. That would be this one. Martha, do you want that last one for nine? Can you tell me what's on the bottom of that, India? Uh, seven. B470. Oh, Ruth, Ruth took this other one. And it just say uh, spot on the bottom. <laughs> or Rogers Brothers. Yeah. All right, guys. Have everybody got a chance to buy something? Are we all in, all done tonight? It's almost 11 o'clock. I've went five hours tonight. That's not bad. So are we all done? Now we're going to have our drawing. Uh, I've actually gave away so far tonight. I have gave away tomorrow night, Sandy. <coughs> Daddy's, uh, Daddy's wore out tonight. We're all done, guys. We're going to have a drawing. We're going to draw one of the items. And just think, it could be a $2 and a half item. Or it could be a higher priced item. We don't know. Last night we gave away a total of $150 in cash. And that's a reward and a thank you from Uncle Jed to all of you. Yes, Tina, I think we do, okay? I think we do. And I'll, I'll, I'll go out of my way to try to find them. So we'll have them up for you tomorrow night, Tina, all right? And we've heard a lot of amulets and life lights going in and out tonight here in town. And I just want to send out a special prayer to anything that's going on and, and hope everybody's all right and yeah. and uh, and safe and uh, wasn't injured too bad or anything like that. I don't I've not heard anything that's went on. I've just heard a lot of amulets and a lot of things going on. So just I'm thinking about those people that might be hurt or sick or whatever. And a uh, big shout out to Dolly and Joe again. They've got their a uh, new baby. I think they named her Elizabeth, I think. Uh, so we're, uh, uh, congratulations to them and a happy birthday. Whose birthday was it? It's somebody's birthday. Oh, Randy and, uh, uh, Randy Sloan and, uh, Sandy, they had their anniversary today 
and a happy birthday to you, Christy, which is not your birthday. I know that. You don't turn you don't turn fifty six until oh, March, oh, Christy. Nurse. But I, they're right. giving my numbers, guys. Are we ready? How many items do we sell, Leanne? Uh, exactly ninety nine. We sold exactly ninety nine items. Okay, okay, Tina. Okay, you turned sixty six. Well, There's ninety nine numbers in here, guys. Is he, is he walk, wait, is he walking? And we're fixing the draw. And tonight's drawing, and see, I gave away okay. 50 and 20, okay. $70. Okay. I'll so this is going to be for $50 tonight. Now, tomorrow night, it might be for that $100 bill. Okay. Or the next night. It might even be more. We don't know. But tonight, we're going to do $50 cash. Because that's a pretty good prize. Especially if you just bought a $2.50 item and you win it. Oh, a truck took out a stop sign on Holland Road. Okay, we hope everybody's all right there. And uh, you remember now, guys, we're going to take the $100 bill that we won last night and me and my sister talked about it into a memory for her, but that's not saying I don't want anybody else doing that. You take that money, spend it on your family if you win it tonight, okay? Or spend it on your bill tonight. But this is for $50 cash. It's going to be the only drawing we're going to do. And I hope your item is the one. But no matter if you win or not in this drawing that I'm fixing to do right here, you all been winners tonight because you got to see me. And you got to be with me for five hours. And you got some good bargains tonight. I mean, some really good bargains tonight. All right, here we go, guys. Reach in there and draw for me. And this is the item number. For $50 cash. It was early in the auction, guys. Early in the auction. Item number 10. They're going to look in the computer. And they're going to see who bought item number 10. They're going to tell me what it is, how much somebody paid for it, and who it was that bought it. $50. All right, the su suspense builds, guys. We're going to see. Everybody's trying to guess now of what it was. They're writing it down. They're giving me the name. They're giving me the price. And they're giving me the item number for $50. And you got to be here to win. And thanks, James, for spoiling it for us. It was the Buffalo Bill Cody doll for $15. Y'all remember who bought that? And the person that bought it, don't say it out. Don't say it was you yet, okay? Oh, Ruth done said here. Ruth Rice. You remember, I actually said that about the Buffalo Bill Cody doll, I think. About it could be the winner. Ruth just won $50 for investing. And actually, she come out, she gets the Buffalo Bill doll uh, hey, plus $35. That. She got that uh, piece of carnival for free then. 50 bucks, guys. Congratulations to Ruth. Who knows? Tomorrow night, it could be your item. And that makes a total tonight of $120 cash that we give away tonight. That's pretty good, guys. I don't know of any other auction site that does this on a regular basis like we do. But $120 cash tonight. So, guys, tomorrow night, who knows? It could be more. And we're going to be uh, going through a lot of the boxes tomorrow. So a lot of the uh, rare and uh, different items that you've seen the last two nights, you're going to see a lot more of it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. we got four more nights of this marathon auction. Uh, on a regular dates, we have it on Tuesday, Wednesday night at 6 o'clock, Friday and Saturday night at 7. But this week, it's going to be every night up to Saturday night at 6 o'clock, beginning at 6 o'clock each and every night. Uh, everybody stay safe. Have fun. 
see you guys in here at six o'clock. If you can at all tomorrow, and all you people that's out of state, we'll try to get everything up for you, get it all bundled up, let you know what's going on, and uh, okay. see if you want us to okay. wait a little bit about shipping and stuff I, like that. I just, I just but it's been a really good auction tonight. I apologize for having to leave for a little bit. Uh, like I said, I just wasn't feeling good, but I feel a little bit better now. We're going to get us some rest. All right. All right. And uh, if you can tomorrow at all, come in here. Our shelves are getting full, guys, and we're going to need the space. Thank you, Lou. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. You guys want to make it, not just Uncle Jed. You guys make this channel and this auction what it is today. Without you guys, uh, Uncle Jed is just another old uncle. Monkey's on. <laughs> but God bless y'all. Have a good night. Thanks to all my moderators tonight. You guys help keep the trolls at bay and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that is another good one right there called Country Road. Yeah, that's uh, done by... Malcolm Earls. <clears throat> 19, yeah. We'll try to sell that tomorrow night, okay? We'll sell that tomorrow night. But that is a nice picture. And you know what? We've got a bunch. My guys aren't done yet, are they? We have got a bunch uh, let me let me show that real quick. What he just did they, did they come in and get him? Okay. Uh, never more. We'll do that. Mama, remember okay. that? Is that John Johnson? What state are you in? Never more. We'll send you a friend. Yeah. Well, they, they said he was well, I can go and delete some of the older uh, things. They said he was confused. And Try to send me one, John, because I've got to delete some of the duplicated friends because I'm at that five thousand limit. Yeah. Okay, Tina. Good deal. And we've got a lot of prints. I think there's like 40 or 40, 40 or 50 prints uh, that's still in the truck. They're not framed, I don't think, but there's some really nice prints, guys. All right. Thank you, John. Yeah. And you can private message me, too. Yeah. But God bless y'all. We're going to get off here and see where our boys at. They're supposed to be unloading the truck. So we'll see you guys tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. God bless.